Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. In today's video, guys, we're going to be going over my first knife for my case quest. Come in. We're going to open this up. We're going to be putting it in my little display case here. And we're going to be talking about what we're going to be doing to this thing today. So by the time y'all are watching this video, this knife will probably be getting worked on by a knife maker over in Columbus, Georgia. I met him. He's a great guy. He sells and makes knives. I mean, professionally, he gets some samurai sword sharp. He has some nice sanders and he's going to get this thing samurai sword sharp and he's going to be putting me a wood handle on here. This knife come all the way from Texas. It's a great knife. It's actually a Bolo knife, a United States Marine Corps. Uh, it's, it's a machete that was used during World War II. Ain't that cool? But it's got a round edge. He's gonna put an edge on it all the way down and put me a wood handle on here. He's gonna drill me a hole back here so I can put me a lanyard on there. Ain't that cool though? But we're gonna be going over there today. We're gonna meet Mr. Uh, Gordon. It's Hambone Knives, I believe it is. But uh, he makes some excellent knives. I mean, some cool knives. But uh, we're going over there today. So we're making a little road trip. And if I have time, I might stop by a few pawn shops. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. But we're also going to be cleaning this case knife up. I don't have a shield for it. I'm going to have to contact Case to get me a shield for it. But for right now, we're going to clean it up and see if he can't get some of the snap back. Anyway, guys, this here is a case knife it's a camp knife of course it's in excellent shape but this thing here was made according to that stamp on the tang right there it's just got case double x from 1940 all the way through 1964. ain't that cool but it's a good looking knife it's got brass liners brass pins but it's in excellent shape the blades seem like they'll get its, it's snap back so all it needs to be cleaned up so i'm fixing to take it over there on my three inch bench grinder on the fabric wheel anytime you're using that fabric wheel guys even though it's fabric if you hit this plastic it will melt it fast it sure will so if you're using one you got to be careful with plastic handles even 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 bone it'll scratch it up so wood it ain't as bad you just can't leave leave, leave it on there now it will burn burn it down but you just got to be careful when you got plastic bone and wood is more forgiving but plastic is not it'll melt it really quick
Okay, guys, let's open up my eBay knife. To put in my knife display case. Brand new, still in a box. It's a 2022. Let's see if it was made in 2022. That's when it was boxed up. Wipe my hands. Okay. See, that's a, that's got nine dots. So this was made actually in 2021 is when it was made, but it was boxed in January of 2022. So no big deal, no big deal at all. Pretty cool, ain't it? Now let's go over there and put this thing in the, uh, my display case. Now we just gotta take this out and put the other one in there. Thing I like about these though, it's got the side buster uh, itching on the blade right there. The yellow ones don't. It's the older ones, right? There it is. That's its new home. Rock. Very cool. YC1032 is 032-3137 CV. But that's what it's gonna look like guys. I don't know what my other I don't know what my other knife is gonna be yet. It, it all depends on which one I come across. But uh but we're gonna try to get a bone one this time. So I don't know which one I'm gonna get yet. Pretty cool though, ain't it? The patterns right here, that's the pattern numbers right here for the bone. Pretty cool, ain't it? And this is the uh, yellow composition. I guess that stands for yellow composition, you know? I really hate that, but I want to be kind of true to this. But you see these case knives feature carbon steel blades and genuine bone handles. That's them right here. But over here, see it's got the carbon steel that does too, blade steel. That's the order number, which this is 032, and that's 032, and the pattern is 3137, which is the yellow composition. So, but I'm gonna go for a bone one next. And I'm gonna have to look for these patterns right here. Ain't that pretty cool? And these are the prices at the time. They had to change them because they went up, obviously from when they got this display case. Yeah, I really like these with the, the etching on there. But this one here is a uh, 91. You see how good a shape that's in? And this is the 3138, I think it is. No, it's a 2137. And that's a 3137 stainless steel 
pretty cool and this is a going back in my collection it's in excellent shape i bought this at a thrift store over in columbus i think i gave either 20 or 25 for it i can't remember it was well worth it excellent shape all i'm gonna do guys is put this box in that uh my my display case i'm gonna have to clean clean it out because i'm using it for storage but i'm gonna put that stuff somewhere else but i'm just gonna keep all the boxes see it's got the paperwork in there too i'm just gonna keep all the boxes to the knives inside that case right there pretty cool ain't it? hey guys here it is polishing bolsters out they look good huh really good look real good brass pins brass liners and the blades are in excellent shape i love that case blade right there. and you see how great tint that is it's already sharp i ain't even sharpened it yet but you see that stamp on that tank that stamp was used from 1940 all the way through 1964 and there's the uh pattern right there 60 40045 R. But it's got the punch blade. It cleaned up good, guys. It really did. There's the flat tip screwdriver, bottle opener, and you got the can opener, of course. But it cleaned up really good on the inside, too. It was, uh, was rusted up some, but it wasn't really too bad. Just surface rust. You see how well it cleaned up in there. Perfect. It's a great shape to be as old as it is. Good snap still. Beautiful little knife. Got the bell on it. I love this. All I'm going to do now, see this, this was actually glued on. I'm going to contact Case, give them the serial number or the modern or the pattern number and uh, see if they can't send me the correct shield for it. But it's just a beautiful knife right here let me get that book real quick see here case double x right there that's what this is here there's xx era tank stamps 1940 to 1965 all the way through 64 so that's pretty cool ain't it you can try to look this knife up too. Six four zero zero four five. Here we are, guys. You see, there's the pattern of the knife, and it's uh, sixty four zero zero four five R, which that's sixty four zero zero four five R XX nineteen forty nineteen sixty five jigged black composition. Back in two thousand eight. This knife was uh, mint condition was 60 bucks. So that's probably what I'd take for this thing today without the shield. But with the shield, once I get that back on there, I probably wouldn't take no less than 80 for it. It's just that old and that great of shape, guys. Mint condition would probably be over 100 today. And this pattern of a knife and this old of a knife in mint condition. Yeah. But once I get that back on there, I probably wouldn't weigh that the blades are in good shape the snap is good 75 to 80 bucks is what, what i would take for it but right now i would take uh, no less than 60 for it as is so but uh but i'm not gonna sell it <laughs> it's a good knife real good knife these in this good of shape are hard to find they really are um but again guys these books are just excellent the the numbers for the pattern i'll show you what that means here real quick pattern numbers see the six can be used for bone or delrin see that six bone and delrin also used for second cut stag and rough black composition and that's what this is black composition so and then the uh the four number four is for you know 640045 the four is the, uh, 
that's how many blades it is. The second digit, second digit of the case pattern, numbers indicates the number of blades. Like the 640045. The factory design number, the remaining digits of a case pattern number denote the factory designation of that handle pattern. A0 as the first digit denotes a variation from an, an existing pattern. For example, in 06247 is a two blade variation of the 6347. So that's pretty cool. So the rest of the numbers is just for the pattern of the knife. So the six here, the first number always, or if it starts with a zero, it's a variation. But the six indicates the handle type, which is a um, black composition. Then you got the four, which is the number of blades, and the 0045R is the pattern of the knife. Pretty cool, ain't it? Just a little history for y'all, and if y'all want to start collecting case, which the older cases are fun to collect. Even the newer ones are, but really the old ones are to me. Um, that's what I grew up on, and that's what I love, you know, the older case knives. Um, but uh, this, again, guys, this book, I know a lot of folks ask, where do you get this book? Well, they don't, they don't print these no more. They're really hard to find, and when you find them, they're expensive. Now, you can find them in uh, thrift stores that has a bunch of books. I found a few there before, um, but like on eBay and Amazon, they're over $100. So, uh, again, back in 2008, that's how much I paid for it at Barnes & Nobles. So, it's pretty good, ain't it? Very good book. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I just want to say, I just want to thank all y'all for tuning in. But again, guys, by the time y'all are watching the video real good, we're going to be working on this knife sent in all the way from Texas from, from Mr. Roman Barreras. And it's, a, it's an official World War II USMC, United States Marine Corps, hoorah a machete called a bolo machete a bolo knife we're going to be putting wood handles on here and i'm going to get them to drill me a hole through the right here through the handles and the steel so i can put a lanyard but he's going to put a razor sharp edge on it and put me some new wood handles uh, y'all going to get to meet him tomorrow that video will, should be out tomorrow if everything goes well and i might just go buy a pawn shop or two before i come back home he said it's going to take about two hours to sharpen this thing up. We're going to try to give it a samurai sword sharp uh, edge on it because he's good at it now. He's very sharp. And I'll introduce y'all to him tomorrow and uh, give you ways that you can go look at his knives because I'm sure he's got them somewhere. Uh, anyway, guys, I just want to thank y'all again for tuning in. I just want to say uh, I enjoyed my quest beginning. Uh, so I'm on lookout for one of those bone patterns now. I cannot wait to get one. I'm going to be looking on eBay and uh, pawn shops and stuff like that. I might have to take a picture of those patterns and so I can have with me. So uh, but anyway, I just want to thank y'all guys for, for everything. I just want to thank y'all again. I got all the uh, items that was bought in the auction on whatnot. They were shipped out yesterday. So y'all let me know when y'all receive them. Just shoot me an email or just say something in one of the videos. Just just give me a comment. Uh, but again, guys, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for everything. And I just want to say God bless y'all. And until we meet again, guys, y'all be like a good night. Stay sharp.